guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be talking about digital planning. So I have switched to digital planning at the beginning of this year because I was tired of hauling so many different books. And also, if I was out and about and I needed to jot something down or if I needed to look at my schedule or need to remember something, my planner would always be at home. So I switched to a digital planner that I have on my iPad and now I do everything digital. I can access it on my phone. I can even access it on my watch. I have all Apple products and I'll be going over what products I use. And at the end, I'll be sharing a very important tool that I use with digital planning. So I'm gonna go over what I use. I use my iPad. This is the seventh generation iPad. Actually, I think it's the sixth. Hold on, let me look. Okay, yeah, it's the seventh generation iPad. And this is my iPad case. It has a trifold. And it also has a slot for my iPad pencil to go in. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Let's not do that. Um, uh, And it also has a slot here for your iPad pencil. This is the Apple pencil that I use. This is the first gen. I bought it off of eBay. Um, but I love it and there's nothing else to say except for it helps me write a lot better. I have a paper feel screen protector on my iPad and I am definitely due for a new one because it is peeling on the edges and there's also a lot of crap on it. In the description, I will link where I got my iPad case and where you can also get a paper feel screen protector on your iPad. There are different platforms or apps that you can use to start digital planning. I use the apps GoodNotes and it is not free in the app store. I'm gonna check how much it was. Okay, I cannot find how much it was, but in the description, I will write down how much it was. I'll have to do that off camera because I can't find it currently. Once you download the app's good notes, there's also another one, I don't know what it's called, but I went on Etsy and I typed in digital planners. There are so many digital planners on Etsy and I found one that was on sale and it also looked super pretty and it matched my aesthetics. It also included sticker packs and a notebook that you can also download and use on your iPad. There are so much, you can go through them, but I will link the one that I bought off of Etsy. So let's go in on my planner and let me show you how I use my digital planner and how you can switch to a digital life as well. Okay, so we've made it to my desktop and I apologize for my dirty iPad case. It's a year old, so please disregard my log screen wallpaper I drew myself and I actually give them to you guys for free through my monthly newsletter that you can sign up for on my website um, and I can link my website down below where you can sign up for that newsletter. I use the apps Good Notes, and it's free in the app store and this is what the home screen looks like. The first one is my digital planner that I bought off of Etsy and this is the week of February 20th through the 26th. You can zoom in with your two fingers. You can choose whether you want your digital planner to start on a Monday or if you want it to start on a Sunday. I chose it to start on Sunday and you can also choose all sorts of icons that you can have your digital planner to include. So I like these exclamation marks which I use as far as priority. So the top is a less priority and the bottom is the most priority. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill out my planner and show you guys at the end of the week what it ends up looking like. Up here is your pen colors. You can choose through really pretty color palettes that they already have. This is the color palette Boho. Some of the colors are super light so you're not able to write with it because you can't see it on the paper. These are my favorite colors. I use the maroons and the greens. They also have different pens that you can use. I use the ballpoint pen. So I'm just going to fill out what I can for today and do a quick montage of that.
Okay, so this is all that I can fill out for this Sunday. As the week goes on, I'll continue writing in more things. And at the end of the week, I'll do a weekly recap of how I filled out every single box on my planner. So we've made it to the end of the week, and this is what my planner ended up looking like. At the end of the day, I top adjusted all of my tasks so that you can read it from the top down. These are my dailies. There are some things that I didn't do um, like stretch and I didn't exercise on Saturday so yeah those are things I definitely need to work on for the following week this is my highlight and this is my gratitude I usually do those midweek and next week I have these planned I also did my fasting so I put that in the notes and in my focus boxes, I wrote about President's Day and my credit card due date. Since it's Saturday, I'm going to continue the cycle and start planning out for next week. Okay, so I actually want to share more in depth of what this planner does. So here are all the color palettes that I was telling you about. The boho one is this one right here. Super pretty, I love it. Um, they also have annual overviews, so different forms. A year in review for last year, 30 questions to reflect on for the past year, bucket list, 20 questions to reflect on, manifestations, life evaluations, and so much other cute and fun forms. And I say fun because it's always fun tracking your life. For instance, in January, I filled out the 30-day questions to reflect on. These are some blank pages. And here is an annual calendar of all the months. And every single month is divided into days. And they have different calendars for the month. Every month has its own calendar. Every month has its own daily, monthly calendar. And a whole bunch of other ways that you can organize your life. These are like notebooks, so these are like headers or sections to each um, section that you want and you can name them. They also have templates. Super cool. I actually like these ones and I just found out about this when I made this video, but these are like templates to um, reflect on different parts of your life. These are workout trackers, intermittent fasting, monthly steps, challenges, running, hydration, a workout log to keep track of different types of workouts. And then this one is super cool. I just found out about this one. This is like photos. So if you're a photographer or if you just want to document your life on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly, similar to like a photo collage. At the top, there are different tabs. The first tab shows you all the pages in the planner. There's almost 600 pages and more. And you can also bookmark your favorite ones or the ones that you are currently on. So I bookmark the current week. There is a word search so you can search any typed words and it has to be typed. It can't be written. This is how you bookmark them and there's also a share button. Within the sticker book, there are different icons, labels, widgets, sticker notes, and washi tapes. And then in the notebook, I write all my content ideas. So those are the three. The last one is the download book, but those are the three downloads that you get off of her Etsy listing. I'll link it down below. If you guys want any in-depth videos, in specific sections or specific ways on how I use it, please let me know in the comments below. I promised you guys that I would show you guys a big important tool that I use in my digital planning. Anti blue light glasses. This changes everything. Not only is it cute, they come in different colors. I will also link this on Amazon. These glasses block out harmful white light that emits from your devices and protects your eyes from getting worse. I'm constantly on my iPad and this helps my eyes a lot. Some days when I forget to wear this or if I forget or if I'm out and about and I'm on my phone, my eyes will literally hurt so much to the point where my eyes are tearing up and I'm crying. Crying. It's that bad. Another thing that you can do if you don't want to buy glasses or if you already have glasses, I'm sure you can find. Oh my gosh, they're touching my lashes, girl. Um, I'm sure you can find something. I don't know. Because I know people wear glasses and so you couldn't necessarily just put other glasses on it. But one thing that also helps when I'm out in public is to put your devices on night mode. Let me show you. 
if you go to your settings bar or i'm not sure what this is called but you can hard tap your brightness level and it'll pop up with dark mode or night shift and i always have night shift on and you can even put it on a timer when it will turn off and turn back on um but if it's not on i always make sure that it's on always on all of my devices this is true so those are two hacks when you're digital planning not only digital planning but in your whole entire life being in this generation nowadays with a lot of technology it's important to protect your eyes with glasses and to also make sure that your devices are always on night mode so yeah a definite tip when you guys are either daily planning or not you guys should consider protecting your eyes so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day bye